to the Whiskey for Dummies podcast uh, at whiskeycomedian.com. My name's Alan Anderson and we're in the Whiskey Rooms on the Mound in Edinburgh. And we're here to do a tasting this afternoon with two of the stalwarts of the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. We've got Alex Petty, who's the director of the Edinburgh Festival Fringe Free Festival, Free Fringe Festival type thing. And we'll get Nick Coppin, who has been coming to the Fringe for how many years now, Nick? Oh, good, about seven, eight years now. Seven, eight years. Uh, he runs the late night free show Shaggers, and uh, he's got his own shows uh, on at the Fringe. Tell me, what is your alcohol drinking experience now? Nick, you are renowned throughout the Fringe as being one of the biggest piss heads of party <laughs> animals. I am one, yes, there is. yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it easy this way. See, this is it. Doing the afternoon no show. Oh, look, no, okay. Well, I'm still out quite late ish, but with the afternoon show, you've got to rein it in a bit because in the first week, week and a half, you might get away with it, but two, three weeks in, you're going to be dead if you're out too late. So, yeah, I'm usually out. It's usually beer, it's usually my alcohol of choice, uh, but you know, when that starts to get a little bit too, you know, it's a bit bloaty, isn't it, beer? And then I'll usually move on to the wine, maybe the spirit. So, whiskey's never been my. I've, try, I've tried it, it's never really been my. Uh, drink of choice. Right. So Alex, um, you you tell me, what's your alcohol history? My, my alcohol history, well the, the fringe two years ago drove me completely off of alcohol. Um, <laughs> I was quite a well known renowned piss head, probably of the calibre if not higher than Mr Coppin sitting next to me and after a particularly heavy fringe I gave up drinking completely two years ago mm -hmm. and I've just started drinking again, just a little bit. Okay, well, we, we, we've chosen two uh, two different whiskies for you guys today to try. What I've been trying to do over the course of this fringe is to to marry up whiskies with the comics and the performers and the people at the fringe, so that we can get get one which is spot on for them. So we're going to start off first of all uh, with Alex, and for Alex we have the Buna Haben 12 year old. Okay, it's one of the North Isle whiskies. Um, Alex uh, is. He's a down-to-earth guy. He likes being really organised, but he's, he, he, he makes life a little bit too complex for a lot of the performers here <laughs> at the Fringe. Um, and when you see Alex running about, there normally is a trail of smoke from behind him as he's dashing from venue to venue, <laughs> trying to make sure that 300-odd performers are doing exactly what they're told. So what we've got here for you is a Buna Haben 12, as I said. It's from Isla. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very earthy, smoky whiskey, okay? They, they heavily peat. The, the whiskey by, by roasting the barley for quite a long period of time. The people in Isla are arsonists slash pyromaniacs. They would, they would show the looters in London a good run for their money this week. <laughs> uh, so, so we have for you the Buna Haben 12. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been in the barrel for 12 years. And uh, how many years have you been coming to the French? I'll be probably about 12 years. Probably about 12, because we started out at the same time, yes, back in yes. 1998, 1999. Right, yes. okay. um, likewise for yourself, Nick, as a 12 year old. And this is a, the Dal Moor. We'll just show it to you. It's, uh, it's a fantastic whiskey, this, the Dalmore. It's uh, really spicy, lots of fruits in it. Again, it's, it's, it's smoky, but it's not as smoky as, uh, as the, the Islas or the Talisker's or the Highland Parks of this world. And uh, so, shall we, shall we start to enjoy our whiskey? Right, yes, shall we? James, basically, I showed you how to, do, just how to yes. enjoy your whiskey before we came on. So, mm. we've, we've had a look at the, the, had a look at the colour, which basically tells us absolutely nothing, nothing about well. a whiskey, does the colour of the whiskey, because some sick bastards sometimes, what they do is they add a little bit of caramel to the whiskey to darken the whiskey up. So it becomes a more sexy bottle uh, when it's on, on the shelf, and many would say that the boys here are a very sexy couple when they're on the shelf. So, uh, so, <laughs> been so, on the shelf for many years. <laughs> exactly. So uh, we, we see it's a nice. Uh, we, we, how would you say that yours look when you've stopped swirling it around? Do you have nice residue in your glass? Oh yeah, yeah. Just yeah, there's a lot of residue there. Yeah. And you can see you see the legs coming down oh, the glass. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. legs. Good legs. Good legs. Good legs. Good good legs. Why are they good legs, Nick? Because of the oil in the whiskey. Right. It's oily. See, the spot on for you. Dalmore is uh, it's forty percent, which is the, the the least strength that you can have in a whiskey. And when it's at forty percent, the less alcohol in the whiskey, the thicker the legs oh, of the whiskey. Wow. So a wine would have really thick teardrops coming down it. A, a high volume whiskey would be really thin legs. But Nick, I know you like a woman who's got a bit of substance to her. <laughs> so we've got we've got you one of the nice thick legs coming down. Thick there. legs. Okay. Like home with thick legs. Okay. Is that yeah, so <laughs> let, let, let's have a sniff. Let's have a, let's have a nose not too close. Mm. Yeah. So what can you get off the Buna Haben there, Alex? Mm. No, you can definitely you can definitely sense the the, the peaty yeah. smell to it. Right. And almost a slightly fruity about it. So we've got a bit of peat, we've got a bit of fruit, mm. a bit of smoke. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely yeah. a bit of smoke there. Yeah, it does, yeah. It's quite it's quite uh, it's, uh, fruity, but it's the smoke there, smoking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
Okay, right. I'm yeah, going to ask you, gentlemen. Gentleman. I'm going to ask the gentleman to have a drink of it, and then when we've had a drink of it, because for me, really, the, the smells and the flavours don't describe whiskey. Whiskey, for me, is all about the emotions, the ambitions, the dreams, the desires that you get. So, Alex, when you have your Buna Haben, what I would like you to do for me is like to tell me if that Buna Haben was one of the shows at this year's free festival here in Edinburgh, okay. which show or which performer would okay. it be and why? And Nick. When you're having the Dan Warrior show, it's all about uh, uh, awards and silly awards. I've an award winning comedian. Right, Coppin. Nick Coppin, award winning comedian. What time's it on at? 5.30 at the City Cafe. 5.30 at the City Cafe, which is just up from the Blair Street sauna, if you know yep. where we are. <laughs> Perfect for Nick, he's, uh, he's in there at 6.30. <laughs> so what would you do if, if that, uh, that Dalmore was an award, which uh, either you have won or, a, or, or one of the famous awards around the world, which award would it be in my So gentlemen, in, enjoy your whiskey, slash of that. Oh, yes, yes. So you're going to chew it about your mouth for a couple of seconds. You're going to get the full flavour of it going round. Mm. How's that? Mm, very nice. It starts very nice and nice and smooth, and it's got a really nice kick to it mm. at the end of it. Mm. Okay, nice. Unexpected. Yeah. Unexpected, did you say? Mm, unexpected. The, the kick at the end is the unexpected. Kick at the end, yes, yes. Right, okay. Because most mm. Islanders, the, the Southern Islanders, you get the kick mm. right at the beginning. Yeah, okay, no, but with the Northern Islanders. Uh, a few seconds in as I was uh, Good. Uh, rolling it around the mouth and then bang. Bang, mm. and it, you can feel it going right down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel the smell of the thing. Yeah, I feel the smell of the thing. Yeah, it was like very sweet and like smoky as, as like, like the smell of it. And then all of a sudden, I, it, sent, it tended to, then I sort of feel like the warmth, and, and as it went down my throat, it was like maybe feel warm down here. So, yeah, yeah. Just, it's a very good experience. I've never had normally when you have whiskey, the occasional I've whis the occasional time I've had whiskey, people are like, come on, get it down, and you go, well, and next thing you know it's like, oh, well, but this I can see now the pleasure that can be had with yeah, whiskey. Yeah, you you drink it properly. <laughs> so Alex, if, if our Boon Haben 12 was one of the performers on one of the shows at the Laughing Horse Free Festival this year, which would it be in why? I I am going with such someone who for exterior is can be quite calm and gentle, but then all of a sudden there's an unexpected kick. Either like him or loathe him, Bob Slayer. Bob Slayer. He's doing his Marmite game show for the very reason that some people love him, some people hate him, you just don't know what's going to come. You get into the show, see what's going on, you're, you're lulled in and all of a sudden it goes bang. Well so that, that's, that's that a great describes the feeling. Perfectly. Some that. people love it, some people love yes. it, and that really is yeah. what the Isle of Whiskies do. They, they split you down yes. in the middle. So Bob Slayer, Marmite, so, game show. He's at, Where the is it? he's at the Hive. The um, Hive. Which is down on Nidri Street. Nidri Street. I it's about 7.15. Excellent. Um, but certainly you can check it out on freefestival.co.uk like all the other shows. Freefestival.co.uk. That's the one. Nick, the Dalmore 12, if it was one of the awards that either you've won or would like to have won. It, I would have to say, and I'll tell you why at the end why it's good, because basically it was a trophy that I show in the show. Um, it, but basically myself and a load of free festival performers, two years in a row, played Hibernian on a Sunday morning Hibernian Football Club. The first year we lost 6-5, the second year we beat Hibern Hibernian 5-0 in a Sunday morning mess about game. May I just add Mr. Coppin, this was the Hibs uh, okay. under-17 girls, girls team. Okay. <laughs> right. But the point is, we lost the first, I'll say here's the thing, we lost, but you know they are vicious. They were vicious. They were, Jojo but, Sutherland, uh, she she's a performer at the her daughter, her daughter, daughter played for the team, and uh, they beat us the first year, we were a bit drunk, not on whiskey, maybe whiskey would have sorted us all right. And because it's, I'm going to liken this to that trophy, because it was a trophy that won in Scotland, the second year we went back, organised, beat the Hibs under-17 girls team and they certainly had a bit of a kick because they were kicking us all over the place uh, but it was a bit, but the, the angrier they got the warmer a feeling I, I got for, for, for when we actually won the game so I think I'm, I'm going to liken this to the, the festival fringe match challenge award trophy that I've got uh, for its, Scot its links to Scotland uh, and the fact that you know it was, it was a very warm and sweet victory with a bit of a kick in midfield. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm going to liken it to. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Alex and Nick. Uh, if you want to know more about the shows, then go to freefestival.co.uk and you'll be able to find about about all the shows which are on at the Free Festival here in Edinburgh during August 2011. Uh, if you want to know more about the whiskey, then go to whiskeycomedian.com. We're here at the Whiskey Rooms on the Mound in Edinburgh, which is Whiskey Rooms, spelt with an I, W-H-I-S-K-I, Rooms, .co.uk and uh, you can find out uh, all about the fabulous bar here, the restaurant and the amazing shop with an amazing selection of whiskies. So thanks very much, we'll uh, see you again next time. So to Alex and to Nick, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.